everything costs more. Work doesn't pay. You make it, Trudeau takes it. Housing costs have doubled with the worst housing inflation by far in the G7. The worst housing inflation in Canadian history. Incomes have fallen 40% short of housing costs increases. Rent has doubled. Mortgage payments have doubled. The needed down payment has doubled. Here in Montreal, rent has actually tripled. When I was housing minister nine years ago, you know how much it cost to rent a one bedroom here? 700 bucks. Now it's $2,200 in just nine years. The Munch people of Montreal have given Justin Trudeau their trust. What did he give them in return? He tripled their rent. He sent people to the food bank. 25% of Canadians are now living in poverty. A, four, a quarter of kids are going to school hungry, according to the federal government's own data. We have the worst economy in the G7 by far. It has shrunk more since 2019 than any other G7 country. In fact, our per capita GDP is now smaller than it was before COVID. We are one of the only countries in the world that has that distinction. Our money is leaving. A half trillion dollars of our investment has left to the United States to escape Trudeau's taxes uh, and red tape. Meanwhile, we have the second slowest building permits in the OECD, which is driving up home building costs. What does Trudeau do about that? He gives more and more of our money to incompetent, radical NDP liberal mayors who block home building and drive up homelessness. Everywhere we go in Canada, it's the same story. 35 homeless encampments in Halifax, 256 homeless encampments in Toronto. 50 of them have opened in three months alone. Some people are even calling these homeless encampments Trudeau towns to reflect the fact that we never had these places before him. And here at this beautiful school, we're seeing children terrorized by drugs, by potential violence, by gross sex acts by needles and other danger. What we're seeing here is a radical, wacko liberalization experiment of drug legalization that has driven up overdose deaths and crime and now threatens once safe neighborhoods. Despite the failed experiment that's destroying lives, Trudeau is doubling down by allowing the Benoit Lab drug injection site in Montreal located just steps away from this elementary school and this park which is supposed to be safe for children. Parents have raised the alarm bell about this disaster saying their children are afraid to go to school. Some kids have even witnessed indecent acts on the sidewalk and have been shouted at. Residents warn of a influx of drug dealers who've been drawn into the area since the site opened. Montrealers no longer recognize the once safe communities that they used to live in. Now they see homelessness, crime, chaos, drug abuse, which have become com uh, common. Montreal's NDP Liberal Mayor has even insisted Montrealers should just learn to live with this chaos and this danger. She says we should just accept homelessness and the Trudeau government refuses to requ directly reject Montreal's, the, the city of Montreal's radical request to legalize hard drugs in this city even after the experiment led to a 400% increase in overdose deaths in BC where it was tried. And just this week, the London Telegraph, a famous international publication called Vancouver, the world's capital of fentanyl, overdoses. The whole world is looking in disbelief on the wacko liberalization of drugs that is destroying lives under Justin Trudeau after nine years. And so I am here today to stand up for this community because none of the liberal MPs in the area are willing to do it. Mark Miller is supposed to be the MP here. What is he doing? He's nowhere. He's doing nothing. Just like Anthony Housefather, is nowhere and doing nothing to protect the Jewish people against the rampant anti-Semitism that has unleashed on the streets of Montreal and across Canada. And his house father is protecting this recent radical that they appointed to head up the Human Rights Tribunal. 
his house father votes to give money to UNRWA terrorists, and he stands by Trudeau, who's the most anti-Israel prime minister in Canadian history. The Montreal Liberal MPs do nothing for their community, so I am here to fight for Montrealers in this wonderful city. And I'm today calling for the Trudeau government to close its drug den. Under Section 56.1 of the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act, the government has the power to accept or refuse a supervised consumption site like Maison Benoit Laube. Justin Trudeau must immediately shut down this hard drug injection site, this drug den, to protect our children, reassure, reassure families, and ensure the safety of all Quebecers and Canadians. It's time for a common sense conservative government that will axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. Let's bring it home.